Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss how to create an update statement in SQL from a select statement that is joining multiple tables. Please, before we start, support my channel by subscribing to it. So over here I have my invoice data warehouse table that gets updated every night with the data of the invoices of the previous day. Uh, this table used to be used to join with the customer uh, table and the person's table to get who was the customer name, uh, what was the customer name, and what, who is the person who entered this invoice. So in order to increase the uh, efficiency of this uh, SQL statement, um, we added two extra columns, which is the customer name and person name uh, to it. So every time we need to get the invoices, we don't need to link to the invoice table. So my requirement is to update these columns after we added them. As you can see over here, they are null. So the first, state, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my uh, SQL statement to join these tables to return back the customer name and person name. So this is my invoice table. I'm going to link it to my customer table. Customer ID equal to customer dot dot customer ID. And I'm going to link as well the invoice table to the person's table. Person ID equals to invoice dot person ID. Okay. So if I ran the statement and I just added the extra two columns, customer name and person dot full name, I will see the results of my statements. So if I go to the end over here, I move want to move this name to this column and this person name to the person name column. Okay, so how can we do that? So now we need to update my invoice table, invoice data warehouse table. So I'm going just going to write my statement, update invoice data warehouse table. Then I'm going to take this on the line. I'm going to comment my select statement. Then I'm going to say set customer name equals to C dot customer name and person name is equal to P dot full name. So as you can see, the first step was to write my select statement, which is very easy. I just commented my select statement, I wrote my update statement, and then from these tables. If I run the statement, now it is updating the table. Now if I issued another select statement from my invoice data warehouse table, let's see whether my columns were updated or not. As you can see over here, my customer name and person name has been updated. As I said before in my previous videos, it's a good idea always to give your tables a short name that does two things. It makes it easier for you to select your columns instead of memorizing them. So if I said I dot, you can see it lists down the columns that you have in a table. The other thing is, if you are having by any chance the invoice table in the same statement multiple times, you might get an error in the update statement telling you that it doesn't know which table to update. The reason is that the invoice data warehouse table was mentioned multiple times. But if you are giving short name, we could have substituted the column name with 
the short name in my update statement. So if I run this again, although it's going to give the same results, but it's not going to give me an error. It understands that it wants you want to update this invoice data warehouse table. Uh, hope that explains how to write a uh, update statement from a, uh, an, a join between multiple tables. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want me to cover uh, more topics on different videos. Thanks a lot.